Toys Inker. So today, this is gonna be another fun one. We have a magic etch a sketch that we're going to work with. There we go. Have you ever played with these before? Do you know what they do? They magically draw on this screen. And since we know that this stuff isn't truly magic, we're going to be able to break it open today and show you exactly what is inside a magic etch a sketch. So, as usual, the first thing we're going to do is open it, at least the box part. Oh, my God. 
do believe, unless I can just pry this apart, that this is not going to be our best method for getting inside a magic etch-a-sketch. What would you do? How would you open up a magic etch-a-sketch if it were you? Would we use a drill? Would we use scissors? I don't think so. I think ultimately the only way we're going to do this is by using a hammer. Oh boy. Oh boy. This could get messy because I have no idea what's inside here. But I do believe it is hammer time. All right, everybody. Let's count. One, two, three! Whoa! Well, that was a big hit. One! Look at that! It came out the side, too! <laughs> this is a toughie! Oh! There we go! We got some cracks! We got cracks for him! Do we get it? after erasing it, these beads come across and help to clear the screen, which, if you can see here, we have this stylus. It's right here. That's what draws on the screen. You can see how it's on a little bit of a grid or an axis, and that's how it moves around. This aluminum powder is on the screen. This little piece cuts right through it. It creates whatever picture you're drawing. What do you think of that? Pretty ingenious, I think. I think it's a pretty smart little invention. Let's look at these little beads again. I just think they're pretty cool.
for joining us, everybody. I hope you had a great time with this one, as we did. And if you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, and that way you can get notified every time we're checking out what's inside a new toy every week. Have a great day! Toy Tinkerer. Today, look at what we have. This is a classic Fisher Price toy. Uh, this is for 12 months and up, and it's called the Two Tune TV. This is from back in the day, before we even had remote controls for our televisions. How crazy is that, right? So, this is what your parents and maybe even their parents, your grandparents, used to play with. This is a classic, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this. We're going to play with it, and then we're going to open it up and see how this works. So hang on one second, we're going to open it up. Alright, so this is what it looks like outside of the box. As you can see, it's got the little songs listed here. This one is London Bridge is Falling Down. And when we turn the knob that specifically says, turn, we wind it up. And there it is, it's showing the words to the songs. London Bridge. All the little kids playing, so cute. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And it just keeps going and you see how it's going on a little loop. It just keeps playing the same thing over and over again with the pictures. And look, you got a little knob here that just makes some crazy little noises while this is going on. Here's what the back of it looks like. Just a plain back. Some stickers on the sides. That's how it works. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is figure out how to open it up so we can see what makes the screen scroll, what makes the knob turn, and what makes this knob turn too. Does everybody want to see that? Raise your hand if you want to see it. I want to see. I want to see. So let's go ahead and start with these screws. I think this is where we have to start to try to get this opened up. See the screws here? So let's start there. Done. 
And every time we roll it, the little music box plays. It's all hooked together. See this little wheel is hooked to the music box. And the music box winds up just like that. See it's turning? And it all connects with each other. There's the knob. That controls it. And it's connected directly to this music box and this wheel here. So if we turn the knob, like we're going to play with it, it's going to go. So as you can see, it scrolls the paper on this wheel and plays this adorable little music box all from this the turn of this knob this knob creates the momentum for this to happen all on its own and when the knob runs out of its momentum it'll stop just like a regular music box would the only difference with this one is that this is actually turning the paper that has the TV side on it. So if we were to put, what do you think everybody? Pretty neat. This is how they used to make toys. If you ever noticed, there aren't even any batteries in this. Pretty crazy, huh? Thank you for joining us for another version of the Toy Tinkerer. Next week, we're gonna get a little more tech savvy. We're gonna get a little more into the future, but not all the way. We're still gonna do something fun. It's gonna be electronic. There's gonna be batteries and wires and more circuit boards. So join us next week and give us a like if you had fun with this classic video. Have a great week, everybody.
gonna do? We are gonna open this puppy up and see what's inside. So I think the first thing that we're going to have to do with this is drill. We wanna get the liquid out from in here. So we're gonna have to drill through. I don't know if the liquid is totally encased all here or if it's just a small little bit of liquid there. So let's try to drain it first and then that way stuff doesn't get on the right away. I am going 
we can try what? <laughs> Any screwdrivers in there? Just pry it open a little bit. Subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this one.